So you're finally at that stage where the weekends are now for groceries and soccer practice, but you don't want to let go of that fast and furious feel of a 600 plus horsepower sports car. We got just the thing today we're going to look at the BMW X6M Competition Ultimate Package. This thing is a beast on the street and I am Peter from Fraz Auto Sales. Let's dive into this thing today. All right, with this 2021 X6 competition, there is a ton of things to talk about. Like we said, the grocery getter, the kid hauler, but everything in between from the 600 horsepower sports car, we're gonna look at it all today. I don't know if it's my favorite choice per se. I do like the X6, but I really like the X5 body shape more. Maybe you let me know what you think. Anyway, nonetheless, this thing is cram packed with crazy features, especially like we talked about the ultimate package on this gives it every box checked, all the things that you could get ordered is on this truck. And the color is fantastic, the interior is fantastic, we're gonna look at it all. Let's first take a look at the front end of this thing. I will say that from the front, X5 versus X6, very similar, but the front end is so mean on this car. Again, you have the laser lights from BMW, probably one of the coolest spectacles about the car. You can order these is through BMW from some of the newer lineups. The lights are phenomenal. When you see these things at night, it's, it's like something you've never seen before. All this super mean looking black trim, full active air on here. The big V8 was the twin turbo intercoolers are right behind these vents. Allow that air to fire in there and cool those things down. You can even see the huge rad behind there with the big support beams of like the these, these steel here with I guess to add some support to the front as well. Like this just is a, is a, a serious grocery getter, not just a, uh, you know, like your family SUV. This is This thing is no joke. The competition setups from BMW, should I say, is. They always seem to ha follow this, this beautiful competition wheel. I mean, there's a Y spoke edition one, there's a V spoke edition one, but they always have that beautiful competition look to them, right? I remember even back from the M4s, the M3s, when they started to make competitions on those, is they had these wheels that, that just look so much better than the factory wheels, uh, like are from the, I guess the non-competition wheel, but again, classic huge big brakes on this thing that are just super powerful. This is a 21 inch wheel. It's got some big tires on this thing. So, I mean, the back is staggered. So the back wheels will be even thicker, which is cool, which I love. Now this one in particular, as you can see with the, the competition package and the, uh, the ultimate package, it's got the carbon fiber mirrors on this thing. Another nice touch on when we get some of their vehicles in, if uh, you know customer request or sometimes the way they've been made, they have the PPF film protection that's on this mirror already. So you have to know when you buy this thing, it's coming right out of the gates. So you're not gonna get stone chips on your front. You're not gonna get any worry about damaging your mirrors because it's got that nice protective film on there to stop it from any damage or stone chips. And it's got the dark shadow line, black trim again around the windows. Very, very sharp looking vehicle. I think it's a very sharp looking paint. I believe it's called Amatrin Metallic, which is kind of like a burgundy, but it's kind of like a red. So as we move around, you can see the car, kind of the color changes, like the way the light hits it, it kind of is purple one spot, red the next spot. I think that's a really neat paint scheme for them to draft up on this vehicle. I mean, not everyone's favorite, but hey, there's something for everyone, but I think it's a really, really sharp looking paint color. All right, now if you're liking these videos, please, it would help us out a lot if you could subscribe and like the content because it really helps us grow our channel and make us one of the biggest car channels on YouTube. Now, one of the cool features about the X6, which makes it different than the X5, is as you can see that X6 back end kind of slopes off where the X5 holds the true height of the, of the car, it comes kind of like, it would be up around this range, even, even higher, it kind of looks more like an X7. That's what makes this unique looking, which is really cool. Kind of matches with the, uh, the GLE coupes from Mercedes or the GLC coupes, or even though the GLC is a bit smaller. The competition with the Ultimate package got that carbon fiber spoiler on it, man. It's very, very cool. Nice little addition to make it pop a little bit more than a regular X6. Uh, you kind of don't see it in every light, but when you do see it, it's like, man, it looks really sharp. Following this thing down onto those exhaust tips, it's got the big quad black exhaust tips. We're gonna fire this thing up later so you can hear what it sounds like. That big V8 really growls. It's something to hear. And you can't have the competition model without that competition badge right there. So you got your X6M competition badge. Let's open the trunk up and see how much space we got for, like we said earlier, those groceries or whatever else you're putting in. Comes with some already extra protective mats that you can put on there. Of course, the factory mats, which is awesome. You have a ton of space in here. Again, maybe not as big as the X5. So like uh, if uh, maybe your family's just starting out, you don't have as many things to put in here. Or, 
you know, maybe you, uh, you're just kind of starting a family and then you, at least you still know you got some room, but it still is quite different space-wise. As you can see, the trunk doesn't have nearly as much of a, an overhang on it because of the shape of the car. It's got this really cool, I guess the luggage cover, I guess to keep things uh, covered up, which is fully removable. I know you can take that folds up and comes out as well. So if you need extra space, you can fold down the rear seats. You can get, you know, a little bit more room to put say something longer in here, some skis or, or something else. We're gonna take a look at that as we go. And of course your automatic closing trunk on most of the models are standard. So just a nice feature, good looking trunk. All right, let's jump inside this bad boy and take a look at what's going on. First thing I notice when I jump in, which is, this is probably, again, I think I've said it in other videos, my favorite color interior from BMW is the Silverstone interior. It's like a white, but also kind of a grayish color. Something about it just catches my eye. I love it. I think it looks super, super sharp. The interior of this car feels less like a uh, an SUV, much more like a, actual, like a sports car. It's still spacious, got a lot of headroom here. The gorgeous Sky Lounge roof, which is a really nice feature from BMW. I think it's more of an aesthetic thing, just kind of gives you this light up, which goes the coloration of your ambient lighting, which all this purple lighting along the sides here, we can change that all through the infotainment system, which is really cool. And you can have basically whatever color you want, whatever color you're feeling like that day. And this thing's got the Alcantara suede uh, roof liner, which is really, really sharp. Your M1, M2 big mean or red buttons here that look just like you're ready to, you know, press a nitrous button or something and go into space. But these things are really nice trucks. So I, I love every amenity this has. Again, be, being the ultimate, it's not just about performance and, and, and being mean and aggressive. It's got massage seats with that. It's got heated and cooled seats, which is right along here with a touch of a button. It's got, you know, your heated and cooled cup holders, which is such a cool novelty to have. It's kind of like a novelty because half people probably buy this vehicle wouldn't even know it's in there unless you start, you know, messing around and, and seeing what's going on. But coming with this as well, with the ultimate package, you've got your heads up display, of course, which is great for your visual, your Harman Kardon sound system, your uh, driver's assistance plus packaging, which again was adaptive cruise control, all that stuff. It's got 360 degree cameras. And I love that there's just all these beautiful little details on the car that it would take you quite a while to take a look at them all, like the etched in M badge that's into the actual leather. It's, you know, embossed into there. And then even this, the shift knob has the gorgeous M Sport stitching on it that matches your seat belt when you pull that out. Like, look how nice that is. That's just such a nice little touch that just really screams BMW performance, which I really, really love. Now, I gotta be honest, I've been around BMWs and cars for a very long time, and I was just recently told by somebody, I guess, I don't even know what the feature is called, and it, I think it's something like gesture control, but you can literally just wave your finger in the air to turn the volume up and down. Like, isn't that crazy? You can adjust all kinds of different things. This has got sensors in the infotainment system, so you can adjust what you want with, I don't even know, you might just look like crazy when you're driving down the street and you see someone just flinging their finger around. I mean, it's a, a very novelty type uh, thing to use. I guess maybe you might be able to do it from the back seat. Maybe the passengers can, they want to turn the music up without bugging the, the, uh, the driver. I just think that's one of the coolest things I've seen in the car. Maybe a lot of the other brands have it, maybe they don't, but I think that's one of the neatest things that you could get. The regular X6, X6, the M Sport package, some of them come with the, uh, the M plaques on the base, uh, the, I guess the base plate or the side plaque here, but this one, I love when you get the competition. Of course, you get the full X6 M competition written right there as you open the door, it greets you every time you, you hop in, which is one of my favorite features as well. As Soon as you open this door, your X6 M, emblems right in your headrest are gonna light up. That's really cool. So see that illuminates as soon as you open that handle. Just again, these small features that make it that much more uh, exciting and cool and, and, and different. So, well, we jumped into the back seat here just to get a feel what it's like to be a passenger. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It's it's actually, the, I feel like the seats sit a little bit lower than the front, like in a normal SUV. Sometimes you feel like you're hiked up a little bit, but I don't know, this one, uh, it, it's pretty comfortable. It's pretty comfortable. You got, again, your, uh, your rear climate control for all four zones, which is nice. You got rear heated seats, which is a great feature too. Again, you got your window sun visors here, which is a really nice feature for kids. I mean, sometimes you, you can't choose which direction the sun's gonna be and that you're going. I, you know, I don't drive a lot of uh, drives home from the cottage, the sun's in the west, and it's just boiling the person on the one side. So having that is just a great little, uh, a little touch addition to, comfort back here you know you got a really good sturdy armrest it's quite comfortable like 
it would not be uh, hard to take a, a couple of long rides in the back of this thing. And like we talked about earlier, you got a little, uh, the fold down middle section, I guess center, center console that has your cup holders too, which is nice. I know the old X6s came with four passengers, some of them. I don't know if they make them anymore, but yeah, this, the, the center piece here moves open as well in case you want to put skis through the center. I mean, it almost seems like it would be a horrible idea with white interior, but I guess that's up to you. All right, now, if you're liking these videos, please, it would help us out a lot if you could subscribe and like the content because it really helps us grow our channel and make us one of the biggest car channels on YouTube. All right, we're gonna turn this thing on and see how it sounds. Again, one of the coolest features about these big V8 twin turbos is they just sound like they are ready to, like, just fly like they, they just have so much power the powerful sound of the motor is so much different than starting up their six cylinders or their four cylinders wait do you hear this thing sound it sounds so much different and we're going to fire it up right now and, and take a listen last but not least certainly check out what powers this monster which is that huge 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo motor. And look at how beautiful this thing looks. This M carbon engine cover is just, again, that's an add-on, a part of the ultimate package, an ordered unit, which costs a little bit more. It's nothing less than gorgeous. Like when you look at this thing, it just spells power. This thing is ready for the street. It's ready for groceries. It's ready for hauling all kinds of ass, whatever you guys need to do in it, it is ready for that. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. I am Peter, this is Faraz Auto Sales, and this is the X6M competition.